up guys i'm mary and elise and welcome back to my channel so so happy holidays it is december <laughs> and if you haven't noticed already i decorated <laughs> This week I am doing an entire week of wigs so that means a video a day and a different wig each day. I'm doing five days of wig miss. <laughs> I am doing five days of wig miss so Monday through Friday you will get a different wig every day and the best part about it is that they're all affordable wigs. Yeah. All of the wigs that I will be doing this week are all synthetic wigs and they are all very affordable because they are all under $50 and they are not expensive okay and they look good and real I hope because I haven't got to all of them yet <laughs> but these are also very popular wigs so I was like I'm gonna get them for myself and see and today is day one and look at what we're starting off with y'all like this is so cute okay this is so cute and this one was only like $25 so stay tuned I'm not gonna talk too much I'm gonna get straight into the video but I just wanted to introduce my wig this week and show y'all my decorations so cute and I just wanted to make sure that all of y'all subscribe if you subscribed already welcome back and if you haven't what are you waiting for so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell right beside it so you get a notification every time I upload because you don't want to miss any of these wigs this week at all period <laughs> so I'm done talking now after you subscribe we're all good we're all friends let's let's just get straight into the video Hey guys, so we're gonna hop straight into it. Today I'm bringing you the Free Trust Equal Invisible L Part Letty. I got this wig from Wig Tights, but it's also on Amazon Prime. I'll link it down below. This is the stock car. Of course, this beautiful model is rocking this beautiful hair, and I got it in the color 1B. And on the back were the hair care instructions. But now let's look at this wig. So of course they always come in nets and the little white paper inside, but I take it out and y'all look at this. I love the curls straight out because like it gives you that Hollywood glamour look so I was impressed okay. It was very neat the curls were full from top to bottom not a hair out of place. And here's the inside of the cap it came with three combs two at the top and one at the bottom and adjustable straps. So here we are the lace was very interesting I didn't really like it cause I was like what color is this what color is that. And it also came with baby hairs, which I did end up cutting off because I'll tell y'all why later. But yeah, so the top of the wig wasn't my favorite, but we're going to make it work. So before I try on this wig, if you want to know more about this hair that you're seeing right now, I just reviewed it. I have a whole video on it. I'm going to link it down below. It is a 4x4 closure wig and it is so pretty. This is real human hair. For my Christmas wig, I'm only doing affordable synthetic wigs under $50, so if you want to go back to the real hair, go check out that video. But for now, we're going to stay on the video for Letty, and we're going to take this off. Ooh, just like that. Easy. So now I'm going to take you guys through the process. I'm putting on this wig cap, y'all. Just a little beige wig cap. You can use black or beige. And I'm just going to pop on the wig. Now, I did watch other YouTube reviews on this wig before I got it myself. And, you know, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all the heads up on what they gave me. So we all look okay. When I first put this wig on, I felt like I was wearing a helmet. <laughs> I was like, whoa, what is this? Okay, I'm sorry, y'all, but it was sitting on top of my head like a hat. But... Either way, after I finally twisted it to where I wanted my side part to be, I brought the curls to the front and the curls were amazing. From watching other videos, they did say don't run your fingers through this hair because you will lose your curls and you don't want it to get tangly. So I love the curls how they were. I wanted them to naturally come apart and fall out of place when I really decide to wear this hair for a day. And so I'm not going to run my fingers through it. I want to leave it just like this. But y'all, these curls look straight out of a beauty salon. One curled to perfection. And the hair was super soft. I wasn't getting any tangling. But then again, I wasn't going to run my fingers through it because they said not to. So the bottom of the hair passed for me. But the top was going to be some work. Look at the stock card. Look at me. 
I don't know if it was the shape of my hair or what it was, but this is the wig out the bag. I would not wear it like this. I would have to do some extra to it because I'm, no. It looks so big at the top. Like, I look like a muffin head, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to style it to fix this part and to fix how big it's sitting. So because this is an L part lace, the lace is only where that part is so you don't have to worry about the lace being all over the wig. I didn't have to cut any lace off. This is just how it came. So the only part you have to worry about plucking is the actual part. All I'm doing is parting my hair right down my part to kind of clean it up and make it a little wider because it was too thin for me. And once I did that, I just pulled the hair out with my fingers because it was just easier than using tweezers for me. And I just kept parting and winding up my part by pulling out the hair with my fingers. The smaller the amount of hair that you're pulling, the easier it'll just come right out. If you have a big, thick amount, you're going to have to section it up and pull. That really only took me about five minutes, y'all. You don't have to widen it up too much because this makeup is going to be all you need to finish it up. So I'm just taking my face powder, my Photo Focus Powder by Black Radiance, and I'm taking a small makeup brush. I did end up switching brushes because this one was working better. Okay, okay. And I'm just rubbing this powder through that part to blend it more with my skin tone because as y'all saw in the beginning, the part was looking really weird to me the lace that was on here i really don't like wigs that have lace like this because they just don't ever sit flat on your head as y'all can see even throughout that process i was still going through and plucking because it was really hard to get rid of that line of demarcation right there y'all see like that that line it just wouldn't go away and that's usually what happens with wigs like this and you usually have to use baby hairs to kind of make it lay down but i didn't want to do that i didn't want to do that because i wasn't really wearing this wig today and so we had to make it work i also ended up cutting off these small baby hairs because they were too short for me to work with and they were just like in the way and they were actually making the wig sit up for me because they were like coming too close underneath the wig so i had to cut that off and i just cut it off camera but i'm just letting y'all know that's how i got it to sit a little flatter on my head and I also sprayed the top with water. So the water did help make it fit a little more to my head, but I will say that I would just recommend you tying this wig down on like a wig head overnight with some mousse to make it lay down even flatter so it's not so poofy at the top. And I do wanna say that the wig hat fit really good on my head. It was very stretchy and very comfortable. A lot of people did say that it was a smaller cap, I think, so I'm not sure what type of wig they had, but this one was big, okay? And I had a ponytail, so yeah. It was very comfortable for me, so the wig cap, I would give that like a 10 out of 10. Honestly, I had a little bun, but here's my final results with this wig. Once again, the wig was good. Like, I love the curls. I'm a middle part person. So y'all already know I had to try to make it a middle part. But this is the L part shaped lace. So as y'all can see, a middle part would look kind of strange. You can always put like some black to kind of cut that off. Only if you really want to wear it as a middle part. But I would suggest this as a side part because that's what it is. That's what it's for, okay? I'm not a fan of side parts in general. But you know, you can make it work. It wasn't that bad. I liked it a lot. I tried to run my fingers through it some just to see, you know, how it was going to work, even though I said I did not want to, but I just wanted to see. And the hair will get bigger if you run your fingers through it. So, the more you run your fingers through this hair, the more voluminous it's going to get. Okay, ladies? Alright, I'm just letting you know. Alright, guys. So, overall, this wig was amazing. I loved it so much. My favorite part was definitely this curl. It is so elegant. It looks like human hair. It looks like you just walked out of a curl shop getting ready for a show. And the back is just as beautiful. It looks so naturally like a sewing. Like if you told me this was $25, I would be like, what? But then I look at that lace and be like, oh, okay. <laughs> 
So while this wig was very beautiful, the top of the wig is what threw me off, honestly. I did not like how big it was and how the lace was laying and how much I had to do to it. And this was not, you know, ready out of the bag. You need like an extra 15 minutes to get yourself together first. But of course, like I said, in this video, I sprayed my hair with water and it helped a little bit. But as y'all can see, it's poofing right back up. So I would recommend laying it down at night and tying it down. But if not and you get this wig, you can always style it in other ways. You know, like a little pony pony. Yeah, so overall this wig was beautiful. Especially for the price. Like I said, it was $25 on wig tights. But you can also get this on Sam's Beauty, Amazon, wherever else you buy your wigs. Because it's there. It's Synthetic Wig Letty. And I'll also have all of this in my description box down below. So make sure you check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to stay tuned for the rest of my Wigmas week. And like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.